this is Karan here, and I'm in Saudi Arabia, studying 10th grade in Yambu International School. Up to this point in the development of trigonometry, when we were dealing with triangles, okay, they were right triangles. Now, it's just oblique triangles. We don't know their figures, we don't know if they're scalar triangles, just any arbitrary types of triangle they're just thrown at us. And we need to find um, sides, of the sides of that oblique triangle angles of that oblique triangle. So how do we accomplish this task without a right trigonometry? Well, it turns out there, there is something called law of sines which we can use in triangles, okay, to find out the uh, length of the side, whether it's any side, it doesn't really matter, or an angle. But what it turns out is that all you need to solve the law of sines is that if you have a triangle, let's say this triangle and it's not 90 degree as you guys can see this angle is B okay this is A and this is C now angles are written in capital letters so the corresponding side to A is A this is the uh, length of uh, this is the length of A measure okay the side length of A this is C in little small letters and this is B so to accomplish this task, we need one side, okay, and two other parts of a triangle. It should be given to us. The so total three information should be given to us. Therefore, in order to solve law of sines, okay, and as we move on gradually. We'll talk about law of cosines, which is also related to this. In law of cosines, when we talk about it, there we will also use law of sines. So, yeah, I would recommend you to pay more attention on this one to understand the concept of law of cosines. Okay, so law of cosines. Okay, law. What the law says of whoops law of sines basically says that if you have length a should we put it over sine of a should be equal to b sine of angle b is equal to c over sine c now it's not a formula it's this over here it's optional okay if, if A isn't given, B is given, and you need to find A, you use this. If A is given, B isn't given, nothing about B, you need to use A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. Okay? So basically, or you can also flip this around and write it as sine of A over A is equal to sine of B over B is optional. Sine of C over C. Okay? Now most probably in in law of cosines I think we will use this one the most because it's just more accurate to towards the answer. Okay? Even both yields the same answer. I prefer this one. Okay? There's something related to this. I, I don't know why but I just use this one. I don't use this one because it just makes stuff complicated. But it's up to you whether you want to use it because after all, at the end of the day, we will get all the same answers. Okay, so that's going to solve a problem. Now, this problem, there's a triangle given to you as this. Now, C is equal to 10, B, A, C. Now, C, B is equal to 7 and the angle A is 60 degrees. Can we solve this? Okay. Well, we said that one, uh, one side length should be given and another thing should be given. So what we want to do is you can't use this. You cannot use uh, law of sines into a triangle like this. Okay. So let's go ahead and use a triangle that we can use a law of cosines on. So here's the triangle that we'll use for law of sines. Okay? 
So here I have labeled the triangle and as we move on we will also solve law of cosines in the next section. So to solve this we we know the we don't know the length side length of P and we do know the side length of C or we also know the side length of the angle of C, we also know this angle of B. So what we want to do is e make it equal to this one so it basically looks like um, sine of B over B is equal to sine of C over C. Now sine of B basically is 45 degrees over side length B which we don't know. Sine of C which is 120 degrees over C which is 20 degrees. Uh, 20, uh, 20 units. Now if you do that and you get B to be approximately 16.33. So the side length B is e approximately 16.33. Now you can find the angle A by using angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 because a triangle consists of 180 degrees we know the angle B, we also know the angle C, so all we need to do is plug in these values to find the angle A. It turns out the angle A is equal to 15 degrees. Okay? And to find the side length of A, we can use this over here. Same property, the law of sines. would say is that A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. Now I've used a different method to show you guys the answer you, well, becomes the same no matter what equation you use. Okay, so A over sine of A which we found out to be 15 degrees is equal to C which is uh, 20 over sine of 120. And then, if you plug in this calculator, you would get your answer to be A is approximately 5.98. And it does make sense because the length is 15 and the angle is this. The angle is this and the length we found out was greater than angle A. Then the, the largest length, which is C, has the largest angle. So it does make sense. So let's move on to an example where they don't show you or don't illustrate you a diagram for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Here they showed you the diagram in some, most of the cases though, they don't show you any diagrams and you just have to solve it. And I'll teach, discuss with you how to solve on that. It says angle A, the capital A which shows the angle. Okay, A is nine and C is equal to 10. So what do we do first? Well, we know the angle A and side A. We don't know this angle C, but we do know the side C. So let's go ahead and solve the first thing first, which is angle C over C, which is equal to sine A over A. That would be equal to sine C over C, which is 10, is equal to sine A, which is 60 over 9. At the end of the day, you'll find that C to be approximately 74 degrees. Okay? So that's basically it. Now let's go ahead and use uh, law of sines in a confusing looking triangle. Okay? Now even if sometimes they show you the triangle, it doesn't really help you. Okay, but like this. It's split in half. And it says this is 60 degrees. This over here is 108, 106 degrees. This is 94 degrees. And it says if C is equal to 74 degrees, B is equal to 46 degrees. And here it says if C is equal to 106 degrees, B is equal to 14 degrees. Okay, so what do we need to do first is basically find out the lens which basically means that B over sine B is equal to A over sine A. 
Okay, we know this B. So what we need to do first is basically use something like this, which basically yields B is equal to A sine of 46 divided by divided by sine of A, which is 60. We find B to be approximately 7.5 degrees with the side length, okay? So, over here, we basically use the same thing, same formula. B is equal to A sine of B over sine of A. Basically, use 9 sine of 14 over sine of 60. Okay? That basically means, whoops, I have written A. It's basically 9. So B, which basically yields 2.5 units. Okay? So this is it for Law of Science. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. You guys can do me a favor. There is a Facebook page down below in the description. Go ahead and click on this uh, URL down below in the description and like that page for me it really helps me a lot thank you for watching peace out guys